How do I get an agent? This is the most popular question actors ask, and it's actually really simple. It only takes four steps. Finding the agents, researching the agents, composing a cover letter, and the submission. Well, it takes more than this, but these four steps will get you on the road to securing a meeting, and I'll go into depth on how to approach all four, so grab a notebook. Acting Lessons Learned. Hello, actor friends. Welcome to Acting Lessons Learned. If you're new here, my name is Tawana Floyd, and I share videos about actor autonomy, how to grow your career with and without an agent. So let's get into it. So getting an agent can be a long game, at least theatrically, because when it comes to commercials, you can pretty much get an agent relatively fast. Now, some actors are lucky. They sign with an agent with their first submission or they get approached at the end of a show. But most of the time, it takes months, sometimes years. But don't get discouraged. It is what it is. Now, I've given this a lot of thought, like, why is it so hard to get an agent? And my theory is that there are more actors than agents. Agents have to be selective with whom they choose to invite to a meeting or sign to their roster. They have to be passionate about us and believe that they can get us opportunities. And then there's always the bottom line. Will we make money? Now, it requires a lot of hard work and dedication from agents to plan out how they will secure auditions for us. Even after signing with an agent, it may take some time before we land a job as there can be a lot of trial and error. That's why agents prefer to have clients they truly believe in and are willing to invest their time and effort to build their careers. And guess what? We should be equally selective as agents. Somehow we think all I need is an agent and then I'll get work. Listen, not all agents are good at agenting. So it's up to us to suss out who we think might be a good agent for us. Now, another reason you want to be selective in your agent pursuit is there are scammers out there who are looking to earn a living off of our image and our likeness. So keep in mind that a legitimate agent never requires you to pay them upfront. The agent gets paid after they find find you work, and then they take a percentage from your earnings. And so that percentage in commission is usually 10% for union members and then 20% for non-union workers, while some managers can take up to 25%. And when you finally sign with an agent, have an entertainment lawyer review your contract first. So here are the four steps to take when you're looking for an agent. Step one, finding the agents. You want to make a list of the agents and separate them by department, theatrical, commercial, voice over, etc. Try to make a list that's manageable with about 10 to 20 offices. There are publications you can buy like Call Sheets from Backstage.com, but I always like to use the agents list found on the sag After website because I know that I can trust that these are legitimate state-bonded agents. And if you're not a sag After member and you want a list of agents in Los Angeles, there is a link in the description that will take you to a free PDF download of legitimate agents. You can also reverse engineer your research by watching TV shows and films. Anytime you see an actor playing a role that you would play, get that actor's name from the credits or go to the show or the film's page on IMDb and look up the actor's agent. You do that enough times and you'll build a nice list of agents. You can also Google talent agents in your area, but that could lead to some sketchy sources, which leads us into step Two, research. Now, research is always tedious. It requires a time commitment, but be patient. To make things easy, research one agent at a time and then rinse, wash, repeat. You're going to find helpful information that you can use for your cover letter, or you may even be able to use that information in the meeting. Now, once I have my list, I start looking up these agents on IMDb Pro. Now, if you don't already have an IMDb Pro account and you plan on pursuing acting seriously, it's an investment that I feel is mandatory because it's the place where everyone goes to look people up. Like we're about to do right now. So you'll want to have a profile there, even if it's just a photo and an email address until you get credits. It's the most credible platform for all things Hollywood. When I look up agents on IMDb Pro, I'm reviewing the clients. Do their clients have current credits? If not, the agency may not have any clout or good relationships with casting directors, or maybe that they're just not good at what they do. I also look to see if they have any clients that look like me. And if they don't, 
Maybe they won't know what to do with me, or maybe they just don't have anyone like me and they're looking for somebody like me, so I don't count them out. Next, I'll visit their website and I'll go to their about page. Sometimes there's photos and bios of the agents. Typically, this is where you're gonna find their submission preferences. There's usually several ways to submit to their office. The website may have an email to submit to, or there is a portal on the site for you to input and upload your information and materials, or they may go by referral only. Now don't let the referral only deter you because you may know one of their clients. Go back to the roster on their IMDB page and see if they represent any of your friends or colleagues, but only friends and colleagues that you know well who you respect, who respect you and know your work, and then ask that person for a referral. Also, if you have a great relationship with the casting director or a manager, ask if they know anyone in the office and if they'd be willing to refer you. Now, this has to be a solid relationship, not someone you met once, because favors aren't free. Before you start your submission process, be sure that all of your materials are current, professional, and industry standard. Sometimes agencies request your actor's access link, your profile, so be sure to have everything there thoroughly filled out, your credits, your training, photos, reels. And if you need help setting up your actor's access profile properly, there's a link above where I share a full tutorial of my actor's access setup. If you take nothing else from this video, it's important to always showcase your materials with excellence. Give them a reason to say yes to you. And here's a tip that I found useful. If you can't afford to add your reels to Actors Access right now, create a Vimeo or YouTube channel, upload your media there, and then use those links. But make sure you don't have any personal or unrelated videos there. Like try to keep those channels strictly dedicated to your acting reels. You can add those Vimeo links to emails or you can trim the long link in Bitly and then add the short link to your resume. And before you leave the agent website, look for social media icons and visit their social media platforms for more information. Like social media says a lot about a company. Like what do they post about? Are they current with the times? Do they bring politics into their work? Do you get a good feeling or a bad feeling when you look at their social media? Finally, in my research, I do two Google search. One of the agency, because I'm looking for bad press or negative comments or lawsuits for not paying their talent or sexual harassment. The second search is the individual agents. I look for interviews to get a feel of their personality, what they look like and their voice. Now, if you find anything unnerving about an agency, Follow your gut and take them off your list. Because remember, we're being selective too. Now step three, the cover letter. I like to follow the basic tenets of a cover letter. Be professional in tone, address the agent formally with enthusiasm and stay away from slang. Be clear and concise. Share your intentions without unnecessary banter. Cut out the fluff, the exaggerated pleasantries. You wanna personalize each cover letter that you send by adding specific notes that you've collected from your research. Stay away from templates, list all your skills and your recent credits, give highlights of your unique qualities and your niche. Share your goals, tell them your vision for your career, but stay away from big dreams like winning an Oscar or an Emmy. Keep it simple. And then request for action. Close with a straightforward request for a meeting to discuss potential representation. Then step four, the submission. Now let's go back to the agency submission preferences we found on the website. We talked about the referral. The website submission form is self-explanatory. Now here's how to handle the general email address. I like to use my Gmail account because I can insert my headshot and the cover letter into the body of the email so that they can see me as they read my letter. I add my links, add a subject line based on which department I'm interested in, and don't forget to give a few proofreads. Like read it, take a break, come back to it, and then schedule it for during business hours. Usually I try to go with like four to six when their workload gets lighter. Then I'll BCC myself for proof of transmission. And then I start the process all over again. I'm probably not doing this all in one day. The research alone takes time, so give it space. Now, if I don't hear anything from the agent after a month, I follow up with either postcards or an email, a newsletter email every month or every other month 
month based on any announcements I have to share, career announcements that I have to share. And then I start self-submitting myself to get work and I live my life because we can't sit by the phone or we'll pull our hair out. So I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll answer as many of them as I can. I'll drop a link to the agent PDF in the description. If you've learned something new, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out the next video on the screen. Until next time.